As the clock ticked down on a government shutdown deadline slated for midnight, the Senate on Friday passed a compromise $741 billion defense spending bill and approved a stopgap continuing resolution to extend government funding and avert a shutdown for another week, buying some time for budget and stimulus negotiations before year's end. I hope House Republicans will vote against the very weak National Defense Authorization Act NDAA, which I will veto, Trump tweeted Tuesday, before the House voted to approve the NDAA. Must include a termination of Section 230 for national security purposes, preserve our national monuments, and allow for 5G and troop reductions in foreign lands. The defense bill is now headed to President Trump's desk. Currently slated to break after next week, Congress may be forced to remain in Washington later in December if Trump vetoes the bill, as he's threatened to do. At least one lawmaker has vowed to break against the norm by supporting a presidential veto on the NDAA despite voting in favor of the bill. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy R. Califf, on Tuesday said, My point has always been, when I became a leader, I would not vote against the president's veto. Key disagreements among lawmakers could still force a shutdown or another continuing resolution after next week's deadline. Stimulus negotiations have grown more urgent and more complicated this week as lawmakers grapple with a $908 billion bipartisan plan as well as a separate $916 billion plan from the Trump administration, and on the Senate floor Friday Senator Josh Hawley Armo, and Senator Bernie Sanders IVT, warned that they would object to another continuing resolution next week without a vote on their proposed amendment for additional $1,200 stimulus checks. On Thursday, Senator Rand Paul R. Key, was among lawmakers threatening to stall the stopgap vote on Friday, citing opposition to the defense bill, which he, along with Sanders and Hawley, voted against on Friday, but he relented on Friday morning, telling reporters, our main point in filibustering the defense authorization bill was to point out that the president should have the prerogative to end a war, not just to start wars. Dot. 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 So we did hold things up for a day on that, but we're not going to on the continuing resolution. House overwhelmingly approves defense bill despite Trump veto threat, Forbes House passes stopgap spending bill to avert shutdown, buy time for stimulus and omnibus budget, Forbes, Rand Paul obstructs defense bill, decries, dangerous precedent for limiting a president's power to end war, Forbes, as stimulus negotiations drag on, Pelosi says Congress, cannot leave without passing a new aid bill Forbes.